Oh my god, look at the size of that. Is that a radio controlled aeroplane? Yeah, man. And it's got a real jet engine in there. It has indeed, yes. So we are at the BMFA headquarters, and over there they've got a little flying thing going on. And he's brought his plane. Let's see what all this stuff's all about. You don't want to break that, do you? Uh, not really, no. How much is it worth? No, about nine thousand pounds. Oh, real little jet engine in there, look. So these planes have an actual miniature jet turbine engine inside, and they run on actual jet fuel. So there's the inside of it. It's got the juice in there. There's the engine. This stuff in there all looks a little bit technical. Do you know what you're doing with that? No. Oh dear. Working. Now you've got to slide the wings together, put a couple of screws in, and then go rip. So I want to get myself one of these. So first, let's have a look to see what I'm letting myself in for. So this one here is Steve's new plane, so what you got mate? Right, I've got a uh, Krill Aries XL, it's about 3 metres long, it's got a bloody big turbine in there. Let's have a look at that in there. Oh, yeah, it's got a bit of size to that bad boy. And what's all this equipment you got going on in the back here? Right, so it's got a wobbly uh, vector nozzle, so basically it just makes, it flows the aircraft everywhere. So it's a bit like... Um, Does that mean you can do a pop mate? Yeah, we'll have to take it to the wind in. Yeah, we'll do a little bit. We'll pop yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We'll do a bit. Oh, all right, yeah. wicked. Yeah. Do some flat spins. I've been saying about getting one of these for a while, and I've procrastinated and haven't, but we're going to have to do it somewhere. Yeah. That one over there is pretty similar to this. It's another manufacturer. They're basically compared to planes, so it's a bit like a Echo <laughs> 1 versus a if you can't. So they're different yeah. makes? Yeah, yeah. They look fairly similar, don't they? Yeah, this one's got loads of uh, movement. You can see the, these things here are called ailerons, but they're, they're huge. Some other planes are a lot smaller, and obviously the bigger they are, the more movement you get. When you start up jet, press up, then that, and then it starts up. Uh, automatic start? Yeah. Put your camera up there, you'll see it like that. It's going to blast me in a minute, isn't it? Yeah, Things we've to get out of. What's that called? Oh, so that's, a, that's one of your hang things. That's pretty much hovering there, isn't it? What? How's that even possible? It looks like I shouldn't do that. What the hell is that? What even is all that? It's a helicopter! Yeah. Look at this thing! How can that be so fast? What the hell is it?
was that? So this thing here is actually a glider with a jet engine fitted. So next up is Andy's go. When's the last time you flew it? About a year ago. So are you a little bit rusty? Yeah, maybe. So Steve's on hand to lend a hand. Can I have a go? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> yeah, really? Bend it, you bend it. Oh, all right, maybe not then. <laughs> Starting up, first time in a year. Pushing. Yeah. That's it, ready to rip, yeah? Here's Andy's one. Andy's ready to rip. So here's Andy's first time flying in a year, so let's hope he doesn't break it. Change landed, you follow him in and told him the last one. Okay. Enjoy that? Yeah, man. A bit shaky after the first time <laughs> in the year, but all good. Oh, man, what an epic day! And I'm actually in talks with someone about getting one of these jet planes. It's a J10, it's got a real jet engine in there, and it's about the same size as Andy's plane. However, I'm going to have to find a new location of where I can fly it, because the club that I fly at now, they've said that I'm not allowed to YouTube there anymore. Even though the landowner has said that I can. It's literally a grass field, there's nothing else there, and when I film there, it's literally just me and a friend. It's not like we're, we're blocking up the runway for anyone, it's not like anything like that. And the same problem seems to happen with RC clubs, sort of in general, with RC car clubs, with RC flying clubs. You get a few people there that take the hobby way, 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 way too seriously, and they try and turn this fun hobby into something that it isn't. They try and turn it into big business. And they shout at each other, they swear at each other, uh, they're rude to each other, they show no respect to each other. And I don't know why this RC hobby seems to attract a small minority of people like this. I mean, I'm, I'm learning to fly a real plane at the moment. And up at that club... Uh, they're just really laid back, they're really chilled out, and they're just all about having fun. And they were like, yeah, yeah, come over, let's, let's take you out in a stunt plane, film it all, put it on YouTube. They come out with different sort of video ideas. I said, come on, let's, let's race a real plane against an RC plane. But then you go to like a toy plane club, and they all get funny. I mean, I've been to a few clubs now, and I've left them. And it's really the reason why I don't really go to any clubs anymore. You know, RC car clubs and RC plane clubs. Because you get a few people there that just try and turn it into this big business, take it too seriously and ruin it for everybody else. You know, about the only club really that I can have fun at at the moment is Vinny's Racing Club with the cars. Everyone there's chilled back, chilled out. Everyone just wants to have fun. And that's what, that's really, in my eyes, what the hobby should be all about. But you go to some of these other clubs, like Vinny went to one the other day, for example, and he hit a jump. Apparently he hit it too hard and too fast. They're telling him off for hitting the jump too hard when the jump's there on the track. And then you get marshals that shout at each other and they swear at people. Come on, marshal, hurry up faster. F you. Come on, you. Uh. I mean, the only thing that I could think 
why this sort of stuff happens is because fully grown men playing with toy aeroplanes and toy cars are so insecure about themselves that they have to try and turn it into this big business and try and make it something all serious and proper and blah. When really the bigger picture is we are fully grown men playing with toy cars and toy aeroplanes. And that's all it needs to be. The reason we do it is for fun. Yet some people just seem to forget and not realise that that is the only reason why your RC is for fun. And, and they think it's for big business. And you know what? I think for people like that, it's time to find a new hobby. Rant over. I could go on even more. Uh, so anyway, we've got a load more great content coming up about planes. So I'm getting this J10 aeroplane. Also want to get some big stunt planes, like an extra 300, like the one that Mark took me out in, like a model one of those. Uh, I want to get like a beast by a plane, one of the big Hangar 9 beast by planes. I've got more content coming out, learning to fly real planes. And I want to do all the aerobatic training as well. I want to get myself a real aeroplane, an extra 300 is what I want. And um, there's going to be all content about that as well. And obviously there's going to be more RC car content, more monster truck content. And uh, yeah, so subscribe, smash the bell. And I'll see you in another video. Bye!